It's my final day in Romania and a chance to look round the capital which was completely rebuilt in the communist era. Transylvania may have Dracula's castle, but Bucharest has Ceausescu's Palace of the Parliament. The facts and figures about this building are absolutely mind-blowing. It's the second largest administrative building anywhere in the world after only the Pentagon. It took 13 years to build and cost 3 billion euros. But that was just a small part of the price paid by the people of Romania. The palace was the centrepiece of a redevelopment of four square miles of historic city districts. Over 30,000 people lost their homes. Thousands of buildings were destroyed, many of them hundreds of years old. In 1985, an engineer called Yorda Cescu came up with an ingenious plan to save some other buildings using railways. His team dug under this 16th century monastery, jacked it up onto eight railway tracks and attempted to move it away from the palace where Ceausescu deemed it would spoil his view. The inventive engineer and his team physically hauled the church, which weighed 9,000 tonnes, along this path, across this extremely busy road, which wasn't even built at the time, past these blocks of flats and into this small park, where, as you can see, it still stands today. The beautiful, irreplaceable Mihai Voda Monastery. It is an amazing story, and it's a wonderful building. It's 430 years old, which makes it one of the oldest buildings in the whole of Romania. And it only survived because of an extraordinary feat of engineering. In all, Yordicescu saved seven churches and many other historic buildings.